Greetings, YouTube. I've been working my way through the uh, back se back seasons of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and thoroughly enjoying myself. One of the funniest shows I've ever seen. Um, I liken it to a modern, well-written Barney Miller. Um, and they do seem to be taking on some of the modern era's issues. Uh, they do touch on uh, you know, racism and misogyny and homophobia, which is nice. Um, and But they don't really touch on the corruption that is so rampant in modern police work. Um, they did briefly touch on a cop that set a person up just because he thought, well, this person's obviously a drug dealer, so it's okay if I plant a drugs kind of thing. So, But in reality, crooked cops don't get the car let off him, which then got me thinking about the concept that every time a cop is actually found guilty of doing something or suspected of having done something <clears throat> that was illegal or immoral. Um, the, the defenders of, of police always say, well, it's just a few bad apples. Um, but this is the thing that always gets me. A cop's job is to protect and serve, to observe, to analyze, to figure out what is actually going on, not just to take the world at, as it is handed to them. Because let's be honest, people lie. Criminals lie because they don't want to get arrested. They don't want to go to prison. Um, so a cop has to make judgment calls. That's their job. Being able to observe the world around them, analyze that, those observations, and then come to conclusions that lead to, with any luck, some honest and sincere arrests. Um, if you filter out all the racism and the sexism and the misogyny and uh, the uh, homophobia and transphobia, which of course in the real world doesn't actually happen. Um, but if cops are so good at analyzing stuff, if that's their job, and it is, why is it that the good apples never seem to notice the bad apples? I mean, that's their job, right? To notice patterns, to observe, to analyze, to make judgment calls. So if they work next to people every single day for hours at a time in a deeply intimate manner, sometimes in the same squad car, and yet they don't, do they not notice that their partner or their uh, squad mate is a deeply racist person who has no problem with enforcing biased guidelines, who targets black and brown people more than white people, who has no problem with beating a black person over a minor offense or arresting a teenager for something that in actuality might be more legitimately handled with a warning, or choking someone to death in the streets for selling loose cigarettes, or just gunning someone down as they're running away. And yet the good apples don't seem to be doing anything about it. Why is that? Or is it that when people say bad apples, they don't mean bad apples in the sense of someone that's broken the law. They mean Someone that's gotten caught. A cop that's failed because that cop got caught at being overtly racist. That they showed their bigotry. And the good cops, the good apples, are the ones that have been able to continue to hide their bigotry from the public's eye. Is that what they mean? Do they define good apple and bad apple differently than I do and I guess the civilian population does because I gotta tell you it seems that that's what they're doing because if you look at the definition of bad apple in the eye through the eyes of a civilian such as myself that would be the people that are breaking the law and should be brought to justice and the kind of people that Good apples who observe and analyze data for a living should have noticed. I'm often told by the defenders of the police that I should respect the police. Well, if the police want my respect, they have to earn it. Because the police have been given an incredible amount of authority 
an incredible amount of power, which places them on a higher standard, much higher than your average civilian. So if police want my respect, they're going to have to really earn it. And the bad cops certainly don't get it, the bad apples. And the good apples that we've got are apparently blind, deaf, and dumb because they can't notice that their compatriots are apparently racist executioners. So why should I respect them? They want my respect, they can earn it. You'll notice that no one has ever written a song, Fuck the Firemen. <laughs> 